What's going on? It's Alan Brown, aka Blue the Kid, and today I have an unboxing for you uh, from a company that I've worked with in the past. Uh, a lot of people have watched my uh, Glary $75 base demo thing. If you haven't, you can check that out right here. And uh, but after the video, I also put it in the description so you can check it out after this is over with. If you want to listen to it, uh, so the people at Glary. Uh, sent me this base and they wanted me to know, they wanted to know my honest opinion on it. The upgrades that they've done to it. I have yet to open this box. It is right here. And that is what this uh, video is all about. So this will not be a uh, comprehensive playthrough. I'm basically going to unbox it, maybe tune it up, maybe plug it in free air and kind of give a listen to how it sounds. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing a full uh, review of this bass as well as uh, bring back a bass from the past that I used in other videos and kind of compare it to what this new bass is. Apples to apples. I think the math works out to this one being twice the price of the original one. I think the bass now goes for like $84, $85. At the time it was $75 the first generation and I think this is like 150 or 160 so it's still a good value base but is it worth it that's what this whole thing is going to be about so uh, in this edition of what will bully open the box with I actually have a screw from a back plate that I had laying around so yeah that's what I'm opening the box up with Go. Works pretty good, actually. Not too bad. There go. All right. We good? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. 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 All right. So this is what it's looking like. Put that here. Keeping it safe. That's nice. Roll you in there. And here is the base. I like that they have the uh, formed innards. That's cool. Keeps everything safe and stuff like that. This also came with a little soft gig bag, which is nice. That's cool. Soft is not going to protect it from anything, but at least you can get it from, you know, home to the gig pretty easily. Okay, also came with a cord, with a tuning adjustment, a pick, and a strap, a nylon strap. So that's also nice. But let's get to what this thing actually looks like. Okay. Here we go. All right. Well, Let's just do it like that there. All right, so it's white. Cool. Let's get you off here. Let's get you over here. Let's check you out. Okay, white on white. Maple fretboard. Uh, the neck, just in case you're wondering, still is the stereotypical thick neck glary. It's not bad. It's just, it's just something to think about. Uh, strings are loose, so definitely need to tune this up. Let's go ahead and go through the initial check. Uh, fret job is actually nice. Nothing pokey. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. All right. So far, so good. Let's check out this paint job. Okay. Okay. Neck pocket. Pretty solid. Okay. Join it pretty well. Okay, no chips, no dings. No out of control things. 
Okay. Not scratching. That's nice. All right. Neck is... The neck feels, from what I remember, because I haven't played that bass in probably eight months or so. So from what I remember, um, the the neck is thick, right? And uh, But it's comfortable. It, it makes playing stuff a little bit easier. And this neck does feel, from what I remember... This does feel a little bit better than the first one. So kudos on that. And uh, yeah, I'm liking this so far. Got the standard issue tuners and all that good stuff. Here's what the base looks like. Just in case I'm looking at it and stuff and you're like, what am I gonna do with this? And I'm. Uh, uh, I do like the white on white. That's a cool little situation they got going on. But I think that I'm going to end up swapping in a different color pit guard on this base. Maybe like a blue, because I think that'll be cool. Or maybe like a purple perloid situation. That'll pop too. So I think that's what I'm going to do later. But for now, this is actually pretty cool. Um, bridge is pretty standard. Knobs feel good. They don't feel cheap which it was like that on the first base. Uh, and then we have these upgraded Wilkinson uh, pickups that are now coming on this base. Wilkinson, I had those. I have had played a few of those bases with those pickups. So that's cool. And um, I will tell you the, the weight of it is just a little bit more. Like the first generation, it was extremely light, like neck dive city. And this one's a little bit a little bit better balanced towards the tail end and stuff. So it feels good in a lap. Yeah, man. I think I'm going to go ahead and tune this bad boy up and give it a listen. So let's go ahead and do that. That's a solid bass. <laughs> yeah. That's a solid bass. <laughs> it's, a, it's a solid bass. Like, I was like, ah, I want to, I need to be objective. I need to talk about this for real and not have any partiality. I don't care that they sent me this bass. I don't care. I should be able to tell you the real. Is this bass worth the price tag? 
Yes. Especially if it's your first base. So this is a 150 something dollars for a first base. I don't know how they're doing it, man. Like, tone on, tone all the way on, going back in. And this is coming out of four eights and a Trace Elliott Elf. Uh, and uh, my volume's at like seven and my gain is at like three. Uh, everything else, as far as EQ, is straight up and down. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's a solid, it's a solid bass. It feels good in the hands. Um, the neck is chunky, so I feel powerful while I have it. It's very solid wood. And the pound, like the weight is coming in probably around, probably eight and a half, maybe nine pounds, maybe. Yeah, but it's more, substantial than the first generation bass. Um, a description of all the specs and stuff for this bass are gonna be in the description. So y'all can check out the actual specifics of that whenever this video drops. But yeah, this is the first video. I'm gonna be doing a few videos, some upgrade stuff, maybe cosmetically, because everything else is straight. Yeah, so um, it's pretty sweet, man. It'd be dope if I put a white uh, pickup cover on it instead of the black one. That'd be clean. Everything would just be white. That'd be fly. So I might do that. Who knows? And, um, yeah. Yeah. So this has been long enough. Uh, Y'all keep your eyes peeled for the next video where I'm actually going to be comparing the first and the second gen to each other and checking that out. And then also, I'll be doing another video where I'm playing each bass against each other. Maybe you can hear a difference. So it's going to be a stock, first gen, and then this as it comes, stock. So y'all uh, stay tuned for that. Till next time, I'm Brown, a.k.a. Bullet Kid. Y'all be easy.